Ladies and gentlemen, the meta killer. Oh my goodness, guys. I am so excited to announce that heroes are the number one contender for the 2024 format. Why? You guys know why Kashira Rise Heart is bad in TG? Why? Because it's a built-in macrocosmos. What monster in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh! is also a walking macrocosmos? Oh wait. Dogla. And I'm telling you guys right now, this card is the silent killer for the 2024 metagame. The next upcoming format, we're gonna be facing the year of the fire. We're entering the year of the fire. Populous, Promethean Princess. Everything revolves around use in the graveyard. And what deck, none other than the elemental heroes that can summon Dark Law 99.99% of the time to shut down your opponent from utilizing the graveyard whatsoever. Heroes are going to be insane. This deck is the meta killer and it's a deck the pro players do not want you to know about. In today's video, I'll show you guys a deck profile and in-depth combos on what you guys can do to combat against today's meta game. So ladies and gents, without further ado, let's get started with the deck profile. Let's go. Supreme Pro, the best competitive trading card game sleeves ever. Easily gliding, easy shuffling, durable, and is what all the pro players use. Get yours now in a variety of different colors. It's the only protection your cards need. Visit tsx1.com now. Link in the description box below. The meta killer, triple copies of Elementary Hero Straddles, the best hero monster in the entire deck. You guys already know, whenever Straddles is normal summon or special summon, you get to search any hero monster directly from your deck to your hand. And also, it has the ability to destroy smaller trap cards on the field up to the number of hero monsters you control except this card. So Straddles works really well with increase. This card is absolutely amazing. You want to maximize your when actually playing three copies of Elementary Hero Straddles in any hero based deck in my personal opinion. Next off, you'll play, of course, double copies of Elementary Hero Shadow Mist. Uh, this is how you're going to be able to get your mass change directly from your deck to your hand whenever a special summon so your hero lives she helps you get to turbo out dark law uh, which is absolutely amazing and whenever she enters the graveyard she has a straddles like effect to be able to search any hero monster uh, directly from your deck to your hand but the only downside you only use one copy of this card's effect per turn so you can't use both this ability uh, to search and also to search mass change right so if that was the case she would have been absolutely insane one copy of liquid soldier absolutely amazing draws two and also is a reborn whenever it's normal summon and it uh, helps you get access to absolute zero. Uh, the one element here, honest deals uh, for damage, which is really good. Some people try to go Fenrir attacking their Dark Law, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but you have honest deals, you can just take care of that immediately, which is absolutely insane in the damage step. And last but not least, for the element heroes, the one element hero Neils. Uh, favorite contact is just absolutely broken. Uh, you make a literally unbreakable board uh, while going first uninterrupted, which will keep you guys through the combo tutorial of this video. Element hero Neils definitely has been here because of favorite contact. So that's pretty much for your E heroes. Next off, your Vision Heroes. Obviously, three copies of Vision Hero Ferris. One of the best extenders in the entire deck. Helps you get started to all your engine. Ferris and one hero is literally full combo. Ferris with Stratos is full combo. Ferris with Malicious is full combo. This card is just absolutely bonkers. This card is just absolute bonkers. Double copies of Vision Hero Vion. A uh, Switch Polymerization. And whenever it's summoned, you basically get to dump a hero monster directly from your deck to the grave. And last but not least, double copies of Vision Hero Increase. I was a huge fan of Increase being at one for so long. But after just like if you draw increase in your opening hand like it just shuts off half your deck you know what i'm saying like you don't want to draw increase so you want to draw two increase you know like if you draw one i still have the other one in my deck to, to potentially combo off right so that's why two increases is absolutely mandatory uh next off uh double copies of malicious for destiny hero engine one copy of denier and last but not least one copy of destiny of plasma this card's absolutely insane um, really good, really, really powerful card right here. You'll easily summon Plasma, break your opponent's entire board, steal monsters, and it's like a skill drain on the field, which is absolutely insane. I'm not playing Dark Angel in this deck for obvious reasons. This format that we're about to enter, the Year of the Fire, literally everybody's playing Link Rebo. Everybody's playing Anima. You know what I'm saying? So if you give them like a Dark Angel, they're just gonna laugh at you because you just give them a free Link Rebo for uh, fodder for Snake Eyes, right? So you don't want that to happen. So Plasma is just better. And you don't you, like you're not gonna spell lock your opponent anymore. Everybody plays extra deck outs to of course Dark Angel now. So you obviously don't want to do that. And Ravelry goes in is not available anymore for obvious reasons because it's at one. Uh, this is all the Destiny Hero package that you must play when it comes to playing this deck. So that's pretty much it for your hero cards. Now after your spells, we're gonna play for your searchers, triple copies of a hero lives. This card's one of the best starter cards in the entire deck. Going, you know, going to time, you obviously side this card out, you know, for obvious reasons. And they want to reinforce the army. Uh, when you control no monsters, special money, any element of your monster directly from the deck, which is amazing. And Rotal searches your entire deck, basically, which is really good. Next off, for your fusion spells, you're going to play triple copies of Fusion Destiny. Uh, this card is absolutely cracked, bro. This card is so good. One card, full combo. 
card is absolutely ridiculous. Double copies of Polymerization, and one copy of Miracle Fusion, and last but not least, triple copies of Mass Change. Uh, you must play three Mass Change now because Dark Law literally shuts down the entire format, which is why I believe that this deck is a great meta call. Yes, it just loses into Hard and into Nib, but if you can make establish Dark Law, that can just be enough to just single-handedly win games. Like Dark Law is just so strong. Like Shadow Mist, Mass Change, Dark Law, Search, uh, Honest Neils. If they if they can't even defend with that, you know what I'm saying? Like it's just so powerful. Mass Change is insane. So I like this card. This card is really strong. And Macrocosmos, you know what I'm saying? Like you must play three copies. And it also helps dodge Imperm and also Valor as well, which is absolutely insane. So Mass Change definitely a must have at three. The last one, I'll Spirit Trap. Gonna play, of course, the one favorite contact. This card helps you get access into your Shining Neil's Wingman directly from your extra deck. And it's two card combo to help you get access to favorite contact, which is insane. And it's all dual because of the Flame Wingman Infernal Rage, uh, which is absolutely ridiculous. So one copy of favorite contact. Now let's go off to your non engine. I'm playing the deck. You're playing three copies of Triple Tactics Talents. Really good into playing into hand traps. So you can look at your opponent's hand to get rid of any problematic threats. Like, if you can get rid of their threat immediately while having Dark Law on the field, you pretty much just win the duel. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you know what threats to eliminate while you have a Dark Law, there's no way you're losing that duel. So, Tactics is also insane. Great Bird Worker going second, and great Utility card going first. Look at your opponent's hand, uh, which is amazing. Uh, of course, Triple and Permanence. Really great card. Also doesn't play into your uh, talents as well. And hitting the Witch is good. Hitting Ash is good as well, uh, which is amazing. So Impermanence is strong. Uh, I like to play triple copies of Droplet. Really great going second into Breaking Boards. If you try to Imperm your card, Imperm your Stratos, you can just activate Stratos effect, Chain Droplet, and negate a monster's effect. Like Droplet is just so versatile, especially in Heroes, bro. I love this card in Heroes. This card is absolutely insane. And last but not least, the one call by the Grave. Piranha for the last non-engine piece that you're playing in this deck right here. No hand traps. I feel like board breakers are just way better, uh, you know, with heroes uh, specifically. Now, after your extra deck, obviously, the best one, uh, Destiny Hero, De Destroyer Phoenix Enforcer. This card's insane. Uh, alongside, of course, Shining Neal's Wingman, Infernal Rage, uh, the One Sunrise, Search Miracle, One Wake Up Your Elemental Hero, which is absolutely ridiculous. One Absolute Zero, which is very strong. And after your Mass Heroes, the One Blast helps you dodge Imperm into the Mass Changes, really good. Double copies of Dark Law. This card's absolutely ridiculous. This card's instant game if you can summon it up. This card single-handedly can shut down the entire format, especially if you're flooded with Snake Eyes. On top of that, guys, uh, Rise Heart is banned. You guys know why Rise Heart is so powerful. And Dark Law is basically the new Rise Heart. The meta killer right here. Off to your links. Um, double Cross Crusader. Uh, Wonder Driver. Double copies. One copy of Inferno. Uh, Inferno of the Visor. And last but not least, I'm playing the one Baguska. This can be the extra Link 3. This can be the extra Link 3, uh, Dread Decimator, but I never felt like I needed Dread Decimator to win at all. Uh, but Baguska is in here just in case you get Shifter. If you, uh, if this Shifter, you can go Hero Lift, search a card, at least make Baguska pass, right? At least you can live on that under Shifter and then potentially kill them with a the clapback. Uh, but other than that, I feel like it's just insurance policy that's in here, right? That's pretty much for the main deck. I think the main deck is absolutely strong. Let's go on with some of the bread and butter combos you guys can do with this deck right here. <laughs> Welcome to the combo segment of today's deck profile video for the meta killer Elemental Heroes, guys. Literally, Power Rangers are going to be taking over Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG if played correctly. This deck is so underrated. Macrocosmos is absolutely amazing. And Shadow Miss, she gets you everywhere. You know what I'm saying? So, in today's combo video, I'm going to showcase you guys two bread and butter combos. That you guys can either put out Plasma, DPE with multiple pops, or you guys can get Dark Law, DP, multiple pops, and insane follow-ups, which is absolutely ridiculous. So, I'm going to show you guys two bread and butter combos. We're going to start off with these two card combos right here. We're going to go Ferris and Stratos for both combos because you maximize yourself on actually playing three copies of these guys in your deck. And remember, guys, any combination of Stratos, literally with uh, Malicious, Stratos, uh, you know, Ferris, Ferris with Denier, like any of these combination of cards, like Ferris, the hero lives, like Ferris Rota, there are so many different variations of the combo, which will give you the exact same end board, right? But this is the most famous combo because you're playing three copies of these uh, in your deck right here. So you have the highest chance of actually seeing these combinations more often than not, you know what I'm saying? Alongside with the Hero Lives, Rota, and all the other cool shenanigans that you're playing in your main deck. Be sure to visit TX1.com to get the best sleeves in the entire world. These are all the sleeves that I use. These are all the sleeves that Pac, Jesse Khan, and all the pro player uses for the Yu-Gi-Oh! TCG. You don't have to be pro to use them. You know what I'm saying? If, if, if you use them, you become a pro. It's a free pro. You know what I'm saying? So get it today in the link down below and use the coupon code POC10 for 10% off 
your entire sleeve orders. And these are the best competitive card sleeves in the entire world. All right. Better about our combos. Okay. Let me showcase you guys what you guys can do with this. So, first and foremost, you have Straddles and Ferris in your opening hand. You're going to normal summon elemental Straddles to activate Straddles effect. You're going to search either the de Delicious or de uh, Denier uh, directly from your deck to your hand. But ideally, I search Malicious first. Honestly, in this format as well, uh, Bestials isn't as popular because we're heading into the year of the fire. So, this like, actually gets a bit stronger. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So, you're going to summon Ferris by sending Malicious to the grave. Summon Ferris, activate Ferris' effect. Send your increase to your spawn trap card zone. Now you're going to activate increase effect tribute to Ferris. They follow these exact same steps, all right? Activate increase effect. Summon, of course, your Vion directly from the deck. Once Vion is summoned, you're going to activate its effect to dump your denier to the graveyard. So now you have both your uh, destiny heroes in the grave, which is absolutely insane. Now you're going to activate Vion's effect to banish the, of course, the Ferris. You're going to search polymerization. Uh, directly from your deck to your hand so I'll, I'll put our hand over there somewhere now what you're gonna do is that you're gonna use these two cards right here uh the increase and also Vion keeps trials on the field because it's a different attribute you are going to make your cross crusader once cross man is something active cross his effect to revive back either malicious or the de denier doesn't matter something malicious you're gonna activate cross his effect tribute malicious you're gonna search your liquid soldier directly from your deck to your hand Gives you the additional draw, which is absolutely insane. Uh, now, what you can do is that you can use these two cards right here. All right. To make your Infernal Divisor. Okay, which is amazing. Activate Infernal Divisor. You're going to reveal the Shining Neil's Wingman. That's in your extra deck. Reveal it to your opponent. You're going to add Elemental Hero Neil's directly from your deck to your hand, which is absolutely amazing. Now, what you're going to do is that you are going to activate your Polymerization next using Elemental Hero Neil's and also your liquid soldier that's in your hand to summon of course your elemental hero flame wingman infernal rage and once infernal rage comes out you get that you can actually chain block this uh, you can actually use the effect so just remember you get free draw two uh, which is really insane uh, so you get free draw two which is ridiculous so you can chain block but for this for the purpose of this video just know that you have an additional extra card in your hand off the liquid soldier draw if you choose to activate its effect you can activate infernal rage's effect add favor contact directly from your extra hand if they choose to nib you here, uh, you still have favorite contact to pop, and you also have access to Delicious and also Denier that's in the graveyard as well, which is absolutely insane, uh, which you can do a bunch of other crazier plays, uh, which is really, really good. But if they don't nib you here, you can still continue to combo off. So and activate Infernal Rage. Now what you're going to do, not yet. This is your hand. We're going to keep favorite contact in your hand. This is our hand designation. This is our, our, our banish zone. Uh, we're going to activate your Delicious, banish it, seven to Dispatch Summon the second copy of Delicious directly from the deck. Now using these two, you're going to make your last E-Hero monster, which is going to be last E-Hero Link monster, Extra Hero Wonder Driver. And then you can activate Infernal Rage to tribute itself. To summon, of course, your Sunrise into Wonder Driver zone. So now you're going to trigger out Wonder Driver's effect and also Sunrise. This has to be Chain Link 1 because it's mandatory. Sunrise will get its ability to search your Miracle Fusion directly from your deck to your hand, which is absolutely insane. And Wonder Driver will get to reset the Polymerization, which is ridiculous. Now what you can do next is very simple. You can activate your Denier's ability in the graveyard to activate its effect to step summon itself to your side of the field. And then once Denier is summoned, you can activate Denier's effect to put the Malicious as Banished to the top of your deck. Now what's really nice is that you get to activate your Polymerization that will set to use Denier and also Sunrise that's over here. Very important. To make your Destiny Hero DPA. Like DP right here. At this point, if DP comes out, uh, they can't really nib you because DP won't just come back. You can just chain DP, which is amazing, right? You can make DP right here. Now what you can do is that you can activate your Miracle Fusion, which is amazing. You can actually banish uh, the Flame and also it kneels. Banish these two guys from the grave. Summon, of course, your Wake Up Hero, Elemental Hero, right here, which is amazing. Now you can activate your DPE's effect to destroy your Wake Up Hero. Activate DPE. Do not forget to trigger DPE. Activate DPE. Activate your Wake Up Hero's ability. Wake Up Hero is going to special summon, of course, your Shadow Mist directly from the deck. And once Shadow Mist she summons, she gets to search Mass Change directly from her deck to her hand, uh, which is absolutely amazing. And this is pretty much your end board. You're like, what the heck is this, Sam? Like, how is this hero deck 
a meta deck how is this deck any good well let me show you this is actually multiple disruptions right here which is insane so you're gonna set these two cards now you're gonna pass turn i'm gonna stand by face dp comes back put in attack mode you know what i'm saying put in attack mode you're not scared of lightning storm no one needs means, means lightning storm it's all good turn dp and your opponent tries to commit into their plays you activate your mass change right here send shadow mist to the graveyard make dark law under the zone right here all right so dark law comes out shadow mist will trigger its effect and wonder driver trigger its effect to reset the miracle fusion for the following turn uh, which is really really good so reset miracle fusion and shadow mist will get her effect to search a hero monster you can search literally a follow up you can search shadows but i like to search honest Neils. honestly you don't even have to search honest Neils, bro like dpe is just so broken like your opponent loses every monster they control monster opponent loses 200 for each hero card in the grave so it's 2 4 6 8 10 12 14 16 18 20 22 like lose 2200 attack like you, you don't have to search on his deals like you, you can even search another follow-up at this point you can even add that straddles to your hand which is insane so you can add another straddles to your hand for next turn you know what i'm saying like add straddles to your hand for next turn which is crazy uh, all right you just trigger shadow mist as straddles and then you have dark law which is insanely broken and then they're playing a back row deck right uh well you know, you know usually like they, they they would not be able to beat this like they, they, they can't beat this like this dark loss is too broken and then you got favor contact which will shuffle these two back into the deck make of course your shiny neil's wingman which pops two because there's two different attributes on the field uh which is absolutely insane and if you're playing a back row deck, you can pop two back row destroy phoenix for enforcer pops another back row and then on the following turn you got miracle fusion for the clap back straddles you, you can even go straddles pop one two three four like pop four back rows you know what i'm saying like attack per game uh you know what i'm saying you got miracle fusion as well to make absolute zero uh which is insane as well so the clap back is just it just it's just too strong it just claps you know what i'm saying so that's pretty much it for combo number one let's go on to combo number two exact same starting hand so combo number one is absolutely insane but what if dark law doesn't hurt their deck like what if dark law doesn't do anything well there is two options you either have a macrocosmos or a skill drain so that's why the deck is the meta killer it's like you have a searchable skill drain in the deck or you have a searchable uh, macrocosmos so ladies and gents this deck is insane same starting hand but we're gonna go for the plasma route so the combo lines are gonna be a bit different so you guys gotta pay attention to this all right here we go so first and foremost you want to normal summon your elemental hero straddles activate your elemental hero straddles effect to search your destiny hero malicious directly from your deck to your hand now you're gonna special summon ferris by sending your malicious to the graveyard Summon Ferris, you're going to activate Ferris' ability to send your increase to your spawn trap card zone. Now you're going to activate your increase's effect. Okay. Trivi Ferris, summon increase. Once you increase summon, you're going to activate increase's effect. You are going to special summon the Vyond directly from the deck. Now you're going to activate Vyond's ability. You are now going to dump Elemental Hero Shadow Mist. All right. Once Shadow Mist gets sent to the graveyard, she gets to activate her ability to search Denia directly from your deck to your hand so you guys see right we're not summoning shadow mist off uh the wake up element hero we're sending her to the graveyard off Vion. now we're gonna actually gonna activate the violence ability you're gonna banish the fairness in the graveyard search the polymerization directly from your deck to your hand all right search polymerization i'm gonna keep this to indicate that's my hand uh, over there so this is my hand all right F fairly standard right here now what do you do next very simple you're gonna make infernal divisor first you use these two cards right here to summon your infernal divisor yes sir activate infernal divisor's effect you're gonna reveal mr shining right here to your opponent search elementary hero kneels directly from your deck to your hand so you guys see at the moment this is your hand right here now very standard you're gonna activate your Destiny Hero Malicious Effect right here. Banish Malicious from the graveyard. Especially on a second copy of Destiny Hero Malicious directly from your deck. Right here. Really center lines right here, ladies and gents. Now what we're going to do next is we're going to use these two right here. To make Wonder Driver. Alright. Now, once you make Wonder Driver, your next step, you're going to activate Polymerization. Alright, you can infuse Delicious and also Denier right here. Ladies and gents, that's in your hand. To summon, of course, your DVD. 
Now, once DP is summoned, you can activate your Wonder Driver's effect to reset the polymerization right here, uh, which is absolutely amazing. Now, you want to summon your Denier from your graveyard, okay, by putting back the Malicious that's banished to the top of your deck. All right. No, actually, I made a mistake already. Look at that, guys. Everybody makes mistakes. We cannot put uh, DPE here, so we have to put him here. Do not summon to Wonder Driver's zones yet. We need his zones clear for Cross Crusader, okay? So, Polymerization is still going to be in the graveyard. Nothing's going to happen yet. We're not going to reset it yet. We're just going to summon Denier from the grave. And then we're going to put Malicious to the top of our deck. All right? Fairly simple. Nothing's changed. We're not going to put it in this zone yet. Make sure you do not make a mistake. Now you get to banish Malicious from the grave. Especially, of course, Malicious directly from the deck. Now we get to trigger off Wonder Driver to set the Polymerization. Now, we're going to use these two guys right here. Nope, nope, I was going to mistake. Use these two guys to make Cross Crusader. Activate Cross Crusader's effect to provide back the Malicious. Activate Cross Crusader tribute to Malicious. You're going to search, of course, Liquid Soldier directly from your deck to your hand. You guys see where this is going now, right? This is your hand. You're going to activate Polymerization. So you're doing it backwards. Usually, you want to make DP like at near the end, but now you like, you make DP first because you want to go for this combo line. You need as many monsters on the field as possible. So you're going to use these two right here after polymerization. Make Infernal Rage. All right. Now you can chain block uh, Liquid and also Infernal Rage. But for this purpose, I'm just going to use Rage as effect. Search Favor Contact. Ladies and gents. And now we're going to activate Infernal Rage's ability. Tribute itself. Summon, of course, Shining. Sunrise. Activate Sunrise's ability. Miracle Fusion. From the deck to the hand. Now we get to activate your Miracle Fusion. Banish Infernal Rage. And also the Neils. Ladies and gents. Wake up Elemental Hero. Yes, sir. Now we get to use DP. Pop the Wake Up Elemental Hero. Use Wake Up Hero. Use DP. Remember to declare that. It, wake Up Elemental Hero is going to special summon Stratos. Directly from the deck. Make sure uh, Wake Up Hero is uh, Chainlink 1. So it'll be Chainlink 1 Hero, Chainlink 2 DP. And then new chain, Stratos will trigger off its effect. You're going to search the Plasma directly from your deck to your hand. And now, 1, 2, 3. Sacrifice these three. Summon Plasma. Set the favorite contact. And you're like, what the heck is this? This is weak, bro. Damn. Is this just a Plasma? Well, this is literally a skill drain on the field. Now on your opponent's turn, DP comes back. Into Wonder Driver Zone. Wonder Driver activates the ability to reset the polymerization or Miracle Fusion. Right here. Absolutely amazing. Plasma's in the gate. DP. All monster point control lose 20 for each hero in the grave. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 24. All your points monster loses uh, 24 in attack. This, this might not be good against uh, Fire Kings because they can still pop Kieran to pop the Plasma. So you don't want that. So Dark Law definitely might have been better in my personal opinion. Uh, but, uh, yeah, this is the end board. And then you also got Favorite Contact to shuffle back Neils and also Infernal Rage. Ladies and gents, to make a four Shining Flare Wingman right here, which is absolutely ridiculous. To pop two more cards on the field, which is insane. On the clap back, you got Miracle Fusion. To make, of course, any hero monster. To make absolute zero on the clap back. Ladies and gents. Insane on the cloud back. Just attack push for game. So it's just three pops and a skill drain, which is absolutely ridiculous. So yes, yes, guys. This deck is absolutely scary. I love this deck so much. And it's the meta killer, bro. Nobody wants you to know how to play this deck. Nobody knows about this deck. Dark Law all the way. Plasma all the way. Thank you guys so much for watching. Be sure to visit TX1.com and get your sleeves today. This is your boy Sam from Team Sam. Sam signing out. I love you guys so much. All right, guys. Peace.